Hey guys, in this 3D Vista tutorial, I'm going to show you how um, you can create your pop-up windows um, yourself in the skin, um, which creates uh, more opportunities for you to customize actions and stuff like that, because the default pop-ups are nice to create something quickly, but eventually to a certain point, there are limitations to it. And then you may want to have uh, built your own pop-up windows. So I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to start with a container. Uh, pop-up window and uh, we're going to make this black because pop-up windows are usually with a black background and um, we're going to keep this one very easy so uh, just a web frame uh, I got these by preset but well it doesn't really matter it's Mostly only uh, this is uh, set by default. Um, so let's make this 80% by 80%. Means that uh, it's 10% from the left and 10% from the top. Um, okay, so there we are. We have the web frame. Uh, going to put my website in there uh, and we need to have a close button here so I'm just going to put it here uh, very quickly it should be like 10% and 10% okay maybe just a little bit uh, less so like 9% so that it overlaps the whole window a little bit more mm, so now like this might be better and uh, let's preview this. So we have to make it uh, pop at a certain uh, panorama. So we're going here, hotspots, uh, go like this one, make it there, add action. And then we use, instead of a pop up, uh, we use show height components. And we are going to do pop up window. And I'm going to you do the web frame and I'm going to tell you later why you have to check them both um, so show okay like this uh, preview oh one thing I forgot is the in skin the close button needs to close it so add action uh, show height components height pop-up window like this now even if we hide it so there we go uh, we have a hotspot and it shows the website now if you might want to have like you have like uh, 10 or 20 of these hotspots you might be thinking ah you know let's just uh, copy paste like this but now the issue with this is if you do it like this and for some reason you might want to change uh, this little icon or something of the close window um, then um, you have to replace this over all these other items as well so we want to minimize the amount of items needed to do the same thing so instead of duplicating the pop-up window what we are going to duplicate is the web frame so uh, copy paste so basically what I did is I duplicated this and I changed the URLs. So uh, there you go. And um, we need to make sure that um, when you click on another hotspot, it will uh, show this and show this. But that means that it shows now two websites. So um, it also needs to hide the other websites when you hide, uh, when you click the close button. So we're going to do that. Uh, so on the close button, hide components. Uh, we are not only going to hide the pop-up window, but also these four websites. Um, so there we go. Um, yeah, and we are going to create a few hotspots. And on this other hot, hot, hotspot, instead of PU website one. PU website 2, uh, free, 
and a four. Done. Preview. So, website one. Well, as you can see, the close window, uh, this icon should be uh, not there, but it should be there. There we go. Website one, website two. I love this video. Website three, there we go. And website four. So that's it. That's how you create multiple windows um, in a pop-up window, um, make it yourself. Um, hope you liked it, like and subscribe and see you later.